Now, she sold more than two million albums in the UK alone and is one of the most successful British female soloists in history, with her last album, Rejoice, selling 500,000 copies. The nation's favourite classical singer, Catherine Jenkins' new album, is out today. This will be her sixth album and her last with her current record company, as she's off to pastures new in a bid to break the American market. Lucy Cotter went to catch up with her over a cup of tea. Catherine Jenkins, Welsh singing sensation, forces sweetheart, darling of the classical world and of course an incredibly busy lady. But I'm very pleased to say Catherine has got five minutes spare and joins me now. <laughs> Catherine, tea at Harrods. This is very civilised, <laughs> isn't it? I know, it's <laughs> lovely, but I've got, a, I've got a record signing in a little while, so yes. looking forward to that. Congratulations are in order by the sounds of it. New record deal and an album out. Yes, well, um, this is my sixth album, my last album with Universal, and they've been brilliant, so it's kind of, you know, sad that I'm, I'm moving on now, but uh, I've been offered to go and uh, have a contract in America, and it's kind of an offer I can't refuse, so exciting times, really. <laughs> I think it's quite a scary prospect because Europe's relatively small and then you go to America and it's <laughs> quite frightening really, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's going to be a massive challenge and you do have to go there and put the time in so I think it'll be a few months initially and then I'll have to go back and um, kind of split my time a little bit but yeah, it's just something I'm, I'm going to go and do and, and see what happens but it, I like challenges so it's going to be a new challenge to go over there. And this new album? This is going back to your roots, to when you were a singer at, at church, at church yeah. choirs. Yeah, well, with this being the last of the uh, current record deal, I thought it was kind of nice to go full circle, go back to the beginning, and I learned to sing in my local church choir, so I thought it was nice to make an album of all that beautiful music that I first fell in love with. And quite emotional, I would think, kind of looking back to your childhood days and, and very emotional songs as well. Yeah, um, one in particular, uh, my, whenever we would do family parties and things like that, my dad always asked me to get up and sing. Um, P.A. Easy by Andrew Lloyd Webber um, and when he passed away when I was 15 my sister and I wanted to do something to sort of mark you know so something for him so we, we wanted to make a, a musical tribute and although we weren't able to do it live we recorded myself singing P.A. Easy and my sister accompanying me on the organ. success does it does it still surprise you that yes. all this has happened i'm amazed that there are people waiting to you know to have a copy of the, of the album site i'm amazed still after still, six i promise you it's just <laughs> it's gone so quickly um it's been five years and six albums and i never ever ever imagined this would happen to me so i'm just still incredibly grateful for everyone's support and i'm loving it and it's just it, yeah I, i'm still excited every morning when i get up Oh, well, congratulations, <laughs> and we'll let you get to your signing. Thank you. Thank you so much <laughs> nice for your time. Thank you. <laughs> A very talented young lady. Well,